shall I think, shall I give you another idea of how to make uh, an extra 30 minutes of quality time in your business? Hi, this is Gordon live again. And today I want to talk to you about how to create an extra 30 minutes of quality time in your business every day, five days a week. And it's going to sound like a bit of a cheat because it's going to sound so easy and you're going to think, you know, is that what is that all you've got for me? But the truth is, right, it can be that easy to create the first 30 minutes a day. All right. And I'm going to give you a couple of ways of doing the 30 minutes a day. Fair enough. OK, so let's go for for tip number one on how to create an extra 30 minutes in your day to quality time to work on your business, to make your business more successful. Tip number one is wake up 30 minutes earlier. OK, so I told you, you might think, oh, is that is that it? Is that the tip? Right. And the answer is, yes, it is. Get a good night's sleep. Wake up 30 minutes earlier. Go to bed a little bit earlier. But make sure you get a good night's sleep. This is not to sacrifice sleep. OK, you've got to get a good night's sleep uh, because sleep has been demonstrated scientifically to be beneficial to thinking and and thinking equals grow your business in my in my world. OK. So that's the first thing is, is so that was easy, right? The second way is to do the important things first. Do the important 30 minutes first, right? So if you wake up at say seven in the morning, uh, and you, whatever your daily routine is, uh, you know, you have 30 minutes to get your daily routine done, it may be uh, meditating or, or having a cup of coffee or going for a walk or, or uh, you know, making, you know, doing a bit of exercise or journaling or whatever, right? There's very, I do all of the, all of the above. But you, you, you then finish that and you then spend the next 30 minutes doing the really important work of your business, which is not the urgent work. It's not looking at emails. It's not looking at Facebook. It's thinking about how you can improve one area of your business. And if you're wondering which area should I think of improving, don't please just think of improving the number of clients by getting new business. There's 50 odd areas you can improve by 1% that will have an impact on your profitability. And it's much easier to find a 1% impact than a 20% impact to grow your profits by 20%. You, you grow your these 1% elements by 1% each over 20 weeks, and you could increase your profits by 20% much easier, much faster, with much less stress. So you could spend 30 minutes on one of those. And if you're wondering what are these 50 things you could do, then just ask for a download of my 1% um, items. And I've got a little booklet, a leaflet you can you can download for 50 one percenters that can change your profits uh, significantly. All right. Now, it doesn't mean that if you change it by 1%, you get a 1% increase in profits. Sometimes a 1% in one area can mean a 2%, 3%, 7% in increase in profits because of the way the, the mechanics of a business work. All right. And I haven't got time to go into that right now. Shall I think, shall I give you another idea of how to make uh, an extra 30 minutes of quality time in your business? All right, here's, here's another one. Now, this one is going to be a tough one uh, if you like social media, but it is to spend 30 minutes less on social media. OK, if you um, no, in fact, I'm going to give you a different one. That's one. There you go. There's a bonus one. Right. Here's a real good one. And that is to schedule three times a day if you must, twice a day if you can, once a day if you absolutely are superbly organized, uh, is to spend only once a day, twice a day, or three times a day at specific times looking at emails. Okay? How it was described to me was emails is somebody, is your, when you're working on emails, you're working on somebody else's agenda, right? And what you want to do is be working on your own agenda to grow your own business. And therein is, is, the, is the big thing. If you are only looking at emails at three specified times a day, the rest of the time you're not thinking about everyone else's agenda, you're thinking about your agenda, your agenda, right? Make sense? So, so that's my third powerful tip. You've got a fourth bonus one, spend less time on social media, uh, YouTube, whatever it is, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, whatever your flavor of, uh, of social media is, spend 30 minutes less on social media a day and uh, you've got 30 minutes. Now, if you do all four of those, that's two hours a day, right? I'm not saying you're gonna go from a standing start to two hours a day, but when I work with clients on a week challenge, it's a completely free challenge for one week, we're able to find at least 
three hours a week uh, for them to, to work on their business, which is enough to move the needle a tweak, right? And then that makes a bit more time and a bit more income, move the needle another tweak, a bigger tweak. And then you get a bit more income, a bit more time, another bigger tweak. And, and so the virtuous circle goes. Hopefully that, that all makes good sense and you can use that. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Comment below. Tell me uh, which of those you're going to take on and uh, which ones you like the best, which ones you, you hate, which ones you think you might find really difficult without a coach. Uh, you know, I don't know. You two tell me and uh, let's take the conversation further. Take care. In the meantime, I'll put some links below of some of the things I've mentioned in this live. You take care. Goodbye. Thank you.